Apple's AirPods Pro 3 hit the market last month to generally positive, but mixed reactions. It seems as though you either love them or hate the sound, but who's right? Everyone, actually. But the issue isn't bad tuning. It's a bit more complicated than that, and I have the data to prove it to you. Before we look at the data, you first need to know a bit more about how people think and how that shapes how we see the world around us. This will go a long way to making different points of view on the AirPods Pro 3 sound a little bit more understandable to you. You've lived this before. Ever have your phone update overnight and suddenly they move something around on you or it looks different that pisses you off? Have you ever been forced to upgrade windows against your will? What about breaking a new pair of shoes? In each of these examples, you had a firm idea in your mind of what something was, how it should work, and what it should do that was suddenly changed on you. These are examples of what's called mental models. Mental models are the ideas, experiences, and beliefs we have about how something is or should work. We talk about these things a lot in publishing and design, but most people only think about this sort of thing when their mental models are violated. The natural response for most people when their mental models are broken by a new reality is confusion, frustration at the added effort, and resentment towards whatever caused this change. And this is exactly what happened to the AirPods Pro 3. Apple changed some things between the older AirPods Pro and the newer ones. Some people hated it, like in this example. They sound like shit. Why? Dude, I'm so upset that they sound so bad. I was really looking forward to these. Now, some people might think that this is a dramatic reaction, but it's actually extremely human. When you're used to something and satisfied with what it does and how it works, any changes will violate your mental model of what something should do or be like, especially if you liked the way that things were before and that's taken away from you. Apple has a long storied history of doing this with major product releases and the response to people who point that out usually isn't to fix the problem, but to double down. Here's a short list of recent examples. Well, some of the things Apple does are absolutely great. There are other things that it does that completely miss the f***ing point of what a product is supposed to do. And this is a nice segue to our AirPods issue. The AirPods Pro 3 have a feature called loudness dependent equalization that changes the sound based on how loudly you listen. The idea is that no matter what volume you listen to, the AirPods will sound basically the same to you at any level. Because humans don't hear like a microphone does, we're more sensitive to some frequencies over others depending on level. For example, bass needs to be quite loud for us to hear it as well as the highest highs. But some ranges we're more sensitive to and a boost in level there won't be perceived as a one-to-one -one change. With me so far, there's a link in the description to this concept for those that need more explanation. But people's first reactions to the new AirPods are not going to be informed by how the new AirPods sound, but by whatever they were coming from. For most people, that's the AirPods Pro 2. With this in mind, we took the AirPods Pro 3 into our labs and measured the earbuds at different volume levels. Here's what that data shows us. At maximum volume, the AirPods Pro 3 have a wonky, but not terrible response seen here. There's a dip at around 100 Hertz in pretty much every volume level that creates the impression of stronger bass. The mids are the error, and the highs have some bizarre spikes and ranges where it might not be preferable to have them, but it's not an immediately unpleasant profile. In other words, easy to get used to. But let's turn down the volume a bit to see how this loudness dependent equalization feature changes things. Turn it down to 50% and here's how that sounds on the latest firmware. Way bassier and more piercing highs. This can be a problem because I listen to music almost exclusively at this volume or far lower. And according to our latest YouTube poll, a lot of folks do too. Keep in mind that this is after Apple made this feature a little less extreme. Shout out to ratings. Because loudness dependent equalization is enabled by default and can't be turned off, if you listen to different hardware volume levels, your sound may be different than what you're expecting at first. For anyone coming from the AirPods Pro 2, this can mean that bass and treble is different than you're expecting, especially with a couple of notable changes. For example, this dip here near 100 Hertz will give the impression that bass is more emphasized than it is, while those highs, woof. 
This is especially true in noisier environments, where it's possible that the improved ANC will prevent you from needing to bump that volume up. Lower volume settings mean more emphasis in the lows and highs, and if you're coming from the AirPods Pro 2, the sound will be different. These kinds of changes might not be objectionable to some, but for others they very much are because the tuning of the AirPods Pro 3 has characteristics that make boosting these ranges a lot riskier to do. If you're used to something working one way and suddenly have to deal with a significant change, your first reaction will be surprise and likely dismay unless the change is an undeniable upgrade. Going from the AirPods Pro 2 to the AirPods Pro 3, even though it is an upgrade in some ways, isn't necessarily a welcome surprise for anyone who has a keen ear for audio quality. Apple needs to learn from their mistakes and fast. Instead of wailing and gnashing your teeth about this, I'm going to give Apple the benefit of the doubt here, as they clearly know a thing or two about sound quality. We've seen this in the past from the AirPods Pro 2 and the Apple Apple AirPods Max. Just because there have been some missteps here and there doesn't mean that people are right or wrong about its product, but there are a few things that are making this issue an issue. First, the loudness dependent equalization feature being anchored at max volume is a misstep. If Apple or really any audio quality wants to maximize its listener preference using this feature, it needs to apply these filters after a user has determined their most comfortable listening volume and what they want to listen to. That way, the adjustments to the bass sound can happen in a manner that's not only less extreme at normal listening levels, but less unpleasant and jarring overall. AirPods need an actual EQ. Not what they've been skating by for years, but an actual equalizer. I don't care if Apple designs a new take on it or if they simply use a few basic adjustments, but the fact remains that not everyone prefers the same things and the company has the technology to make this possible. Just let people get what they want, man. Third, realize it's possible to be a victim of your own success. When you're at the top of a category looking down, it can be very difficult to see the things that might improve what you do because what you've been doing up until now has worked. But when something suddenly isn't up to muster, you have to discuss changing it before it becomes a problem. And AirPods have a number of design, function, and use issues that are starting to look more and more mystifying as the years go on. The good news is, is that Apple, having a product so popular, has no shortage of places to look for design upgrades in the accessory market. Additionally, the audiophile community has never had the tools they have now, so there's endless amounts of perspectives, opinions, and trends to look at online. Now, these issues that I've outlined are fixable, but it's gonna take a little courage on Apple's part to think different. Now, this is just a short video on sound quality, and that's not the sum total of everything this product has to offer. But if you want a more complete view, check out Harley's review right here. You ain't gonna click on it. Prove me wrong. Go ahead. You won't do it.